Well, with this year's drought, one of the things on the minds of just about everyone is it's hard to believe that just about 16 months ago, much of the area was underwater. So I wanted to see what the drought looked like compared to that, and I wanted to see it from high above. Take a look at this. After heavy rains in the spring of 2011, we took to the air in April to see how far out of the banks the Wabash River had gone. Now compare that to this year from nearly the same spot. In 2011, it was hard to tell where the river ended and the fields began. It was all underwater. This year, in some locations, the river is barely a stream. One feature of flooding is the formation of oxbows, where the floodwaters cut a new channel. The remnants of the old river paths are especially evident now. The Red Skelton Bridge in Vincennes was surrounded by water in April of 2011. Now, a lazy low Wabash River flows beneath. The area of the White River was miles wide because of the floods. And today, the White River looks just like a small creek. Comparing conditions to just 16 months apart shows just how fickle our Wabash Valley weather can be. From high in the sky for Storm Team 10, with photojournalist Gary Bryan and pilot Bill Foraker, I'm Kevin Orpert. Those are some incredible, incredible pictures there, well, Kevin. Yeah, and we took almost exactly the same path along the west side of the Wabash, and uh, it was amazing even to me because I, I had realized I'd been up before, but I wanted to go up again because it was so flooded 16 months ago, and now uh, wow. when you see the difference, <laughs> yeah. you know, it, the visually, the impact is, is really quite incredible. It's, it's really, it's really shocking. Was I seeing things, or did you actually have control at one point? I was actually, I was, I was flying the plane. Wow. Yes, wow. yes. That's impressive <laughs> like, itself. Our, our photographer Gary was a little <laughs> unnerved about that. I'm sure he was. Well, that's good stuff there, Kevin. Okay, thank, thank you very much.